Yeah. Okay. Uh, what, what now? Well, it's Mitchell. He's shocky. <sighs> uh, what are his vital signs? Uh, terrible. His blood pressure is 80 over 40, and I've started him on some blood. Uh, get in touch with OR and get him prepped for surgery. Gotcha. Get Ernie and uh, God, tell him I'll meet him in OR. Okay. Ah, uh, good, you're here. Yeah. You mind telling me why? Uh, Mr. Mitchell may be bleeding internally. The uh, cyst may have eroded into a blood vessel. You expect me to operate on it? Oh, no, 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 no. I'll operate. You just hold the retractors. Got a million other surgeons on this staff. Why pick me? What, you gonna chicken out again? What are you talking about? Well, your color's gone, your skin is clammy. I'm okay. Is this what happened with uh, Mrs. Bergkamp? I'm okay, just give me a minute. No time, pal, I got a man dying in there. Maybe that's what I'm afraid of. So what? Show me a good surgeon that isn't scared. Okay, look, if you're going to throw up, go ahead, but be fast about it. I need some help out there. More retraction. Adjust that light, will you? Is that better? Aha, uh -huh. pay dirt. Feel that, will you? What is it? Yeah, feels like one hell of a cyst. Okay, we'll drain the cyst into the stomach. Drain it? Are you kidding? We have to resect the distal pancreas and remove the cyst. It's too risky. I don't want to keep them on the table that long. That's crazy. We have to resect it. We'll drain it, Ernie. Trapper, you're wrong. You're absolutely sure that I'm wrong? Damn yeah, right I am. It took you long enough to convince me. <laughs> I don't believe it. He was testing me. OK, you passed the test. And you've got a weird sense of humor and a lousy sense of timing. Funny, I thought my timing was pretty good. <laughs> I didn't do it because of the money, Dad. I did it because I care about you. Shut up. I'm tired of hearing about it. If I hear one more word about malpractice, I'll brain you. But it wasn't my idea to do the thing about malpractice. It was your idea. You were the one who was in pain. You... Morning, Mr. Mitchell. How are you feeling? Terrific. I'm getting stronger every day. Hey, listen, uh, I have an apology for you two guys. You did that yesterday. Then the day before? Oh. Well, then it's about time my daughter started apologizing. You realize the problems you almost caused these guys? I was just doing it to protect you, Dad. Protect me? I almost wound up in the grave. I don't know why you're blaming this on me. I mean, none of this is my fault. None of it. You Look, were the one who wanted to do second. the final practice. I was there you dying to... Oh, oh, it's true. It's true. Oh, it's true. Yeah, that's what I heard. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. Careful now. Easy. Take it easy. Well, uh, goodbye, Mr. Shoup. Bye. Goodbye, Stanley. Thank you for everything. Mr. Uh, Stevens, anytime. Yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> you take care now. Okay, bye-bye. Bye, Sammy. -bye. <laughs> bye. Bye, Bye. I wonder what kind of report he's going to give us. An excellent one. Take my word, I've seen to that. What are you two hanging around for? She'll be here in 10 minutes. Who? The medical board investigator. She? Well, they decided not to send an undercover investigator after all, so uh, let's get cracking. Stanley, how much did that con man take you for? Take me for? No big thing. Stanley, you did not pay Stephen's surgical bill, did you? Well, Dr. Murdoch is reasonable, you and know. And his hospital bill? Well, his words are bad, but his wife's and his daughter's, oh, she'll take me in quick, I'm gonna be sick. Oh, Stanley, you shouldn't believe everything people tell you.
It's a whole new schedule on FX. Picket Fences has now moved to 11 a.m. 10 Central, following Dynasty at 10 a.m. And don't forget to tune in to FX tonight for The X-Files at 8 p.m. 7 Central, followed by NYPD Blue at 9, 8 Central. It's the best primetime on cable, and it's only on FX.